four bucks a gallon, that sounds great to me. You're probably paying eight in the UK or wherever you might be. Uh, the price of oil, though, has popped again. The last couple of sessions, the SPR release here is winding down. What is on your radar ahead for oil? Yeah, I mean, I just got back from the U.S. I was I was in Colorado, so I definitely saw those prices uh, being lower than four dollars. And you know, just six weeks ago, maybe even five weeks ago, when I was there, they were substantially higher. So you can absolutely see the difference. But like you say, in Europe, they remain a lot, lot higher. Um, I think the key point over here is we've seen a correction lower for both crude prices, of course, gasoline prices as well. Seasonally, this is a bit of a you know, lull. Uh, people are on holiday. There's not a lot of activity going on in the trading side. Uh, and the market is very, very worried about recession. But we've had some quote unquote positive CPI prints just saying that the rate of change in monthly prices uh, is starting to slow down somewhat, which means people are probably not as fearful of a deep recession. Uh, we are expecting a recession, for instance, in, the, in Europe, a mild one in the US. But I think the market has mispriced or the, the market freaked out about the possibility of the recession being a lot quicker and deeper. Right. So that's what the market was pricing in. The yeah. incoming data is allaying some of those fears. So I do think prices will continue to rise higher. And like you said, the SPR is winding down. I think that's absolutely critical. And there's also something I think our viewers need to know, and I might be quoting Amrita Sen back to Amrita Sen, which is even if the economy goes into a full-scale recession, instead of dithering over the technical definition, that does not mean that global oil demand is going to go down, does it? In fact, in the past 60 years, we've Absolutely. had a number of recessionary periods, and I think there's only been nine years where global demand has gone down. And in fact, yesterday, the IEA raising it's global demand forecast. Yeah. Absolutely. You're spot on. And yeah, that's probably something we've talked about before. Look, there's only been four periods in uh, the history of the oil market where oil demand has actually declined. Right. Uh, and yeah, it adds up to about nine years uh, in the 70s, in the 80s, two years each time then 08, 09 and then 2020. And these were very specific periods. Right. Now, what I find talking to traders in the market is that they conflate a recession with 2008, 2009. That, as you know very well, was a credit crisis. That wasn't a normal recession. A normal recession is what happened in the early 2000s and early 90s, or sorry, late 90s. And oil demand continued to grow in those periods. Uh, even in 2011 to 2014, when Europe was in a deep recession, oil prices were $130 per barrel. Globally, oil demand still rose by over a million barrels per day every single year. Asia hasn't wow. fully reopened. China is still in lockdowns. I think that's what the market misinterprets when they think about a recession versus oil yep. demand. 